Hey guys, today we will be solving a problem from our roadway design class that deals with horizontal curvature. A building sits 12 feet from the edge line of a roadway in a horizontal curve section. The width of the travel lane is 10 feet, the radius of the curve is 150 feet, and the required stopping site distance is 125 feet. Does the design meet the requirement for stopping site distance? Begin by drawing a free body diagram of the problem to help you visualize what's going on. We will draw the horizontal curve from a bird's eye view. Make sure to label the radius of the curve, which is 150 feet, the lane width, which is 10 feet, the distance from the edge of the road to the building, which is 12 feet, and the required stopping site distance, which is 125 feet. In this problem, we will use the following equation. We will be solving for M, which is the distance from the edge of the building to the center of the inside lane. R is the radius, S is the required stopping site distance, and D is the angle between each 100 feet of the curve. To solve for M required, which is the required distance from the building to the center of the inside lane for the given stopping site distance, we need to begin by adjusting the radius. The radius of the curve is measured from the center point of the imaginary circle to the center line of the road. Since we are looking at stopping site distance for a curve, the radius will be measured to the center of the inside lane of the curve. With that being said, we can calculate that the radius will be 150 feet minus half of the lane width, which is five feet. This gives us a new radius of 145 feet. To solve for D, we simply plug the new radius value into the equation. D equals 5,729.6 divided by the radius. This gives us a D value of 39.51 degrees. Next, we will solve for M available to see how far the distance from the building to the center of the inside lane is for the current road design. This is calculated by simply adding the distance from the road to the building, which is 12 feet, and half of the lane width, which is 5 feet. This makes M available equal to 17 feet. Now, we are able to plug the values into the original equation and solve for M required. This comes out to be 13.25 feet. Since M available is greater than M required, the design does meet the requirement for stopping site distance. Now you guys will be able to solve your own stopping site distance problem.